We've been talking about rabbits this whole time, describing them with paragraphs and lists, but we could just put a picture on our web page and actually show what a rabbit looks like. Well, to insert a picture in a web page, we use the IMG tag, which, as you might guess, stands for image. If we just type image, though, we don't see anything. Why not? Well, we didn't tell the browser which image to show. There are millions of images on the internet, and we certainly don't want it to pick a random one because it might be something gross that we don't like. And it also just won't be what we want it to be of. We need to tell it the URL of the image. The URL is what shows up at the top of browsers in the address bar, and that's what it is, an address. It's a way of finding some resource on the web. And it means that we can only insert an image if it's already on the internet somewhere. We can't just insert images that are only on our computer. There are many ways to find images on the internet, but we're making it easier for you here by providing an image picker and a photo collection. To get that to pop up, we need to add an attribute to our image tag. An attribute is an additional bit of information about a tag, and this is the first attribute that we've seen. So to tell the browser the URL, we're going to add an attribute with the name source. And we'll add a space and then type SRC. Now, it say it stands for source, but it's very important that you spell it SRC because the browser will ignore it if we misspell it. Now I need to put an equal sign so that I can tell the browser what the attribute value is. And now I'll add a quote and the editor will autocomplete the end quote. So attribute values are always wrapped in two quotes. Okay, so normally this is when we'd start typing our URL but here on Khan Academy, that's when our image picker will pop up. So we'll just pick image, and I want a picture of a rabbit, so I'll click the animals tab and select the adorable rabbit and click OK. Do you see how there's a URL inside our quotes now? And do you see how that URL starts with HTTP? That's how we know it's pointing at some image somewhere on the internet. And hey, look, there's a bunny on my webpage. But what if the server hosting the image was failing and the browser couldn't load the image? How will the viewer know what my amazing image was of? They'll see nothing and wonder for the rest of their lives what they missed out on. That's why image tags have another attribute, alt, which we use to tell browsers what the alternate text for an image is. So to add another attribute, we just put a space after the final quote for the last one. Then we type alt equals quotes. And inside these quotes, the text will be some helpful description of the image, like rabbit with lop ears in barn. That also helps people who see web pages but can't really see them, like the blind. They use an app called a screen reader, which will literally read a web page to them, describing each tag it sees. When it sees an image tag, it'll read off the alt text, since a blind person can't see images. So you should always, always use alt text so that the whole world can experience your web page. Okay, back to the image we can see. It's a little big, let's resize it. We can do that with more attributes, with our width or height. So let's say width equals 100. Okay, so now it's 100 pixels wide. That's a little too small, let's Put our cursor inside and use the number scrubber to make it bigger. Okay, that looks a lot better. Now let's try adding height. I'll just say height equals 50. <gasps> Uh-oh, I squashed my bunny. Poor bunny. See, that's why I should usually only specify either width or height, but not both. Because you might use the wrong dimensions and squish your bunnies. So I say just let the browser do the math to decide what the other dimension should be. I'm going to delete height. Now that you can make images, start thinking about combining all the tags you have in your toolbox. Lists with images and paragraphs, top 10 craziest animals. Just don't put too many images on your page because the person checking out your web page will have to load all of them. But you can still have a, a lot of fun.